Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. These were the high temperatures yesterday, and uh, you can see that we made it to the upper 80s for the most part. There, I think there was one or two 90s inland. You can see Richmond definitely in the 90s, I believe Williamsburg, but most of us were in the upper 80s. Now, today we'll see uh, summer temperatures pretty close to these, but maybe uh, the humidity is up a little more. So I'm going for a high of 89, but it's going to feel like it's 94 today. That's going to be different from yesterday. Yesterday it was starting to be more humid. Today it's downright humid. Uh, we got 95 tomorrow, feeling like 104. That's the temperature. That's the heat index. It's going to be rough for those working outside. You know, kids after school sports, it will be rough. 89 on Thursday, not feeling like 97, and then the temps do come down on Friday for one day. Temps go up a little more over the weekend, but the humidity does not drop and, and go down like the temperatures do. So uh, we're going to see some moderate humidity. It's, it starts getting into the humid category, meaning the dew point above 70. But uh, once you get above 75, that's where it, it's downright tropical feeling. And look at that on Saturday, that dew point might even make a run for the upper 70s to near 80. We'll see about that. That's very humid. So high pressures moving offshore and we've got a little wind shift that's coming in. And so that might uh, give us variable winds, 5 to 10, maybe a stray shower. Otherwise, it's not really going to have a big impact on our weather. And eventually, the winds will resume out of the south. <clears throat> that happens tomorrow. So Super Doppler 10, right now we've got a few showers to the south over mainland Dare County and a little bit there over the Outer Banks between Kitty Hawk and Manio. A few sprinkles, really. There's really not much rain with this. It's going to be light. Hey, you need some rain. We'll take every drop we can get. Um, and so there's one drop in there, southern Chesapeake, south central Chesapeake. Uh, that is south of Grassfield and, and dropping towards the state line. Everybody else is rain free. So we'll have uh, just a little clouds today, partly cloudy skies. There may be a stray shower too returning once we get into the afternoon, but I doubt there's going to be much. And the winds will be variable at 5 to 10 miles an hour. We saw a little flash of green there late in the day. So uh, that's late in the day. Now overnight, maybe a stray shower, partly cloudy skies. Not much happening though. And then tomorrow we've got partly sunny skies, maybe mostly sunny to partly cloudy. No rain expected. And so, uh, you know, with the winds, I think more out of the southwest, we're going to really heat things up. That's what's going to get those temperatures going into the mid 90s for Wednesday. Now today, 84 in Kilo Hills, 88 Virginia Beach, 89 Norfolk and Portsmouth. There will be some 90s in Chesapeake, Hertford, and Franklin and Nahoski. Partly cloudy skies. Remember that heat index will be in the low to mid 90s. 85 today in Melpha, 87 Hampton and Gloucester, 89 in Newport News, and 91 in Williamsburg. At the beaches, low threat for rip currents, water temps in the 70s, wave to two feet. So not looking too bad if you get to go to the beach today. Uh, if you're doing some boating, winds variable, five to 10 knots, seas to two feet, the bay is one foot. Nothing in the tropics in the Atlantic, all quiet for the next 48 hours at least. And then uh, the, your seven day forecast showing highs in the mid 90s tomorrow. We got uh, heat index over 100 and then 89 Thursday, a few showers and storms. Friday, there's a better chance of rain as the front stalls out 83 and then uh, well, we'll be in the mid to upper 80s over the weekend. Humidity's up though and we could see a few showers and storms, but I've lowered that rain chance on Saturday to 20%. So uh, so far weekend's not looking too bad.